Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this numeric expression. And of course, we don't want to use a calculator. And even if you're using a calculator, you can easily uh, make a mistake here if you're not being mindful of all these parentheses and grouping symbols. I don't want to give away too much because I want to give you an opportunity to do this problem. Of course, I would suggest, you know, the problem here is not using a calculator because you're going to have to be able to manage things like this not only in arithmetic, but in algebra as well. So you've got to be extra careful because there's a few spots here in this problem where I think a lot of students uh, could easily make a mistake. But if you want to go ahead and try the problem and, uh, and put your answer into the comment section, I think that would be a great little pop quiz here. I'm actually going to show you the answer here in just one second, and of course I'm going to go through the solution. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires that you have access to great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, and you need assistance in your uh, respective math courses, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be taking a test or studying for a test with a dedicated math section. Most of you out there, or many of you out there, are actually going to take a test like this. You don't even realize it. We're talking about uh, certification exams, placement exams, entrance exams, things like the SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification, or a college placement exam like the Alex or AccuPlacer. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have fantastic middle and high school. Matter of fact, they're award-winning homeschool math courses. You can check that out if you homeschool. If you need a pair of great math notes, I'm going to leave links to my uh, notes in the description of this video as well. But you need to improve your note-taking if you want to be successful in math. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out big time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the solution here. If you're not ready to see it, go ahead and pause the video, but I'm going to show you the answer right now. Okay, so the answer is 9, a positive 9. Again, um, hopefully you did this problem without the aid of a calculator. If you got this right, well, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A++, 100%, uh, and we'll give you a few stars so you can feel extra special today. Nice job. Okay, so the answer again is positive 9. Now, if you got something else, or if you got 9, and you're like, well, I wasn't quite sure. Now, if you did use a calculator, well, you know, that's kind of, hmm, well, uh, in, if you were in my math class, you know, you would be uh, required to put the calculator away. So, again, this uh, problem is designed to be done without the aid of a calculator. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get into the problem right now. And I'm going to tell you, uh, before we get started, if you want to kind of give this another shot, Here's where students are going to get, uh, most students, if they got this wrong, they're going to get in trouble right in here, okay? So I'm highlighting these uh, uh, subtraction, these difference um, uh, operations going on right here. This is where you need to be very careful. Anytime you see a uh, problem in mathematics, whether that be in algebra or arithmetic, and you see subtraction or difference operations, you got to be on high alert, okay, for positive and negative number uh, rules. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so here is the problem. And as I indicated, all these minus signs right here, okay, they're going to, what I'm going to suggest to you is this, okay, you can manage this problem. If you got this right, and you're like, no, no, I understand what's going on. That's excellent. But I think for most students, you, they would benefit for um, rewriting all this subtraction situation as a plus negative. In other words, we have one minus two. That's the same thing as one plus a negative two. Okay, but then we have two minus three. That's the same thing as plus negative. And here, this would be plus negative. So this right here will help you um, avoid um, any confusion with what's going on with the signs. Because really, what we have. 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4. These are, this is a negative 2, this is a negative 3, this is a negative 4. So an easier way to interpret this problem is 1 plus a negative 2 plus a negative 3 plus a negative 4. And then here we have 5 times 2, so we can just go ahead and address that right now. That is 10. We'll have our negative sign right there. And then down here in the denominator, we have 1 minus 3. We'll turn it into a 1 plus negative 3, okay? 
So again, anytime you see a bunch of subtraction or difference operations, I'm going to um, strongly suggest that you turn those into plus negative, i.e. like 7 minus 10. A lot of students will quickly go, oh, that's positive 3, okay? Or they'll just answer 3 because they're just thinking about the absolute value. So really what you want to do is turn that into a plus negative, and now you can see, oh, okay, this hopefully is negative 3, and hopefully you understand this. If you don't have your... Um, positive and negative number rules down, well, you uh, need to make note of that because this is like really basic critical stuff um, in uh, arithmetic, middle school, high school level mathematics. Um, if you need help with that, I'm going to suggest a couple things here. Uh, one, I have a great math foundations course that will reviews uh, kind of basic arithmetic if that's kind of like your level right now, or I would suggest like my pre-algebra course as kind of like a follow-on uh, course to assist you with this. And of course, I have a ton of YouTube videos, but let's get back to the problem. So now that we kind of rewrote the problem this way, so now we're, de we're dealing with these negative values. Let's go ahead and address this part right here. So we can add this up. So that's this 2, 3, that's 5, and a 4. So this is all a negative 9. Okay, so this is 1, positive 1, plus a negative 9. So we'll write that this way. And this is exactly how you want to kind of whittle this problem down. You don't want to do too many steps at once. Then right here, this minus 10, I'm going to address this I'm going to say, so I don't get into trouble. I'm going to turn this into a plus negative right there. So this would be, um, uh, we have our 1 plus negative 9, and then we'll turn this into a plus negative 10. And then down here in the denominator, we have 1 plus negative 3. This is negative 2. Okay, so we have to be very careful again when we're adding and subtracting these positive and negative numbers. Okay, so now let's go ahead and continue on and take another step. And just the way I'm writing out each step, that's the way you want to do things. You never want to do all your steps in one. Uh, you want to tell a story from the beginning to end so your teacher can be like, oh, okay, you're doing good there, you're doing good there. And if you make an error, that's how you get partial credit. That's how you get like 8 out of 10, all right? But if you start from the problem and then you just have an answer and really no supportive work, uh, even if you have the right answer, a lot of teachers will be like, hey, listen, uh, you, you haven't proven that you understand the concept. So a lot of teachers want to give you points for that, okay? But the name of the game in um, mathematics or any kind of course is partial credit because you are going to make errors. But if you, you know, um, uh, you know, understand the process and the procedure, then you're going to be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. We have 1 plus negative 9 really careful here. we got to do what's inside parentheses. We're kind of keeping the order of operations in mind as well. So parentheses first. So this is going to be a negative 8 plus this negative 10. And then we have our brackets up here over a negative 2. So of course, I'm going to have to work on that numerator. And let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So negative 8 plus negative 10 gives us negative uh, 18 over that negative 2 and negative. Got to be careful here, right? A negative divided by a negative is a what? A positive. So 18 divided by 2 is going to be a positive 9. Okay, so, you know, some of you might have looked at this problem and said, oh, this is easy stuff. Uh, you know, I can get this right all the time. But I'm telling you, even excellent math students make these little errors. I make videos like this. It's kind of like a, you know, practicing the fundamentals. Now, again, if this is not fundamental to you and you're like struggling with this, well, you can learn this, okay? Um, but what you're going to need to do is go back and really understand, you know, your arithmetic rules, uh, order of operations, and how to work with positive and negative numbers. So again, two suggestions, my Math Foundations course or pre-algebra would suit you well. But if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.